All right, they finally put in the hammer and sickle and we're back on the main account. So today we're gonna be getting it dark aether. Now I did buy the bundle for this really quick. I will show you what the bundle is. So it comes with the agony and ecstasy. I don't know how either one of these relate. Well, I guess agony, but not ecstasy. But when I was using a multiplayer, it seemed pretty decent. It's basically just like the combat knife. I don't think it's too fast it's not too slow either but there does seem to be a pretty decent delay in between swings it's not as fast as you'd think it would be so i think the e-tool and the size are still the top two melees but this is still not bad it also came with this crusher skin which is pretty cool and the slasher skin it's got this watch this assassination huh. well hold on did i not notice that before did he actually just take the nuts out oh yeah oh no that's the thigh that would have been brutal but speaking of nuts they added this Nice little tea bag. I never noticed the sound before. That's hilarious. So I probably would have bought the bundle regardless just for that emote. And then you got this as the emblem and this as the calling card. But as you can see, I have zero camos for this thing. So we're gonna be trying to get them all here today. And we're gonna be heading in with Aether Shroud tier five. So we're gonna go ahead, hop on Forsaken and try to get this thing done. All right, here we go. Hopping into Forsaken for what might be our last time unlocking any zombies camos on this account. That's only if they don't add any more weapons past Vanguard's launch. But here is the inspect on the hammer and sickle. The little hammer, little sickle, put them together. Hammer and sickle, wow, crazy. But anyways, we gotta start taking some domes off. Well, technically we don't, since you don't need critical kills for a melee weapon, but we can take some domes off anyways. Looks like the jack-o'-lanterns are still here for now. I think they stay for about one more day. So this might be our last time seeing them. But as you can see, the swing speed on this is, you know, it's it's pretty decent, actually. It's not too bad. Uh-oh, I'm getting myself in trouble over here. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a decoy down. All the zombies, you go to it, and I'm gonna start the rampage inducer. We're gonna go right up here on this truck, and then try to stay here until the rampage inducer is over hopefully we can survive there's so many coming actually this is insane i severely overestimated this thing's swing speed come on what do we got in here armor and i think that was a cruise missile and i'm down okay <laughs> not a good start okay let's try to self-revive We'll pick up the armor and go back. We're gonna grab the cruise missile too, just in case we get into a tough situation. I'm just gonna sit here and swing. There we go. Oh no. Run. This is a lot tougher than I thought it was gonna be. It's only round five and I'm struggling. We might have to turn off the rampage inducer. We're gonna do it. I'm not losing. Rampage inducer off. Thank you. Okay, that was a little too much for right now. No way I'm losing our last ever attempt at some zombies camos. Let's see if we can do it now that they're a little slower and hold them off from climbing up here. I think we can. Maybe just a little bit. Not all of them. Okay. We're going in now. There's our stroke camo, our first camo. No surprise, we haven't gotten any jackrabbit medals yet. Oh, carpenter. Easy. What's in this? A chopper gunner and level two armor. I'll gladly take that level two armor. But we're going to have to start getting stuns. And once we get our aether shroud, we're going to have to get a few kills with it or while we're in it. Honestly, we might be able to just do like the first room challenge here, but I'm kind of scared now that I don't have my self revive. Max ammo. Perfect. We're saved. All right, let's start the portal. We're not doing first room. Wait, hold on. That's us right there. That's us. Okay, we have an Aether Shroud. I'm going to train the zombies up and then try to get as many kills as I can with it. Actually, maybe first I should get a stun or a decoy. Let's go over here. Pick up two stuns. Let's get these zombies trained up. I'm going to Aether Shroud, then stun them, and then get as many kills as we can. All right, we got a huge bit here trained. I'm going to Aether Shroud, stun, try to get as many kills. Let's go. It's already one camo down. Oh, no. I'm way too close to him. Okay, we got two camos just out of that. So that's our strat. But we should probably start heading towards lockdown and get that lifted. Let's grab our loose change from Jug and grab Jug since we're right here. Jug's definitely going to help out, especially if we're, we're going to be tanking some hits. Tormentor, die. Open this up. Let's grab the loose change from stamina up and grab stamina up. Grab the loose change from tombstone. Now let's head over to the bridge. Pop it open. And before going through the portal, we're going to hop down this way. Grab the loose change from quick revive and grab quick revive since we don't have a self revive. I think we're good to go. Just get a few kills before we head in. Let's start a set of camo. Once we get these things pack a punch, I think we're gonna get a uh, shatter blast on them. That'll be easy jackrabbit metals. Uh oh, I'm getting surrounded. Oh, max ammo. I need that. Come on. Oh, there we go. We're saved. Aether shroud. 
A few kills while we're in it. There's our Glacier camo. 125 kills with it and Funkadelic. All right, now we're on the move. OT camo. Now we go through the portal. Shut up, Pack. Oh, I almost got it there before he started speaking. Let's get the Speed Cola. Oh, I should have honestly just picked up Speed Cola instead of only grabbing the loose change because Speed Cola will help us get our field upgrade faster. We do have a nice big group of zombies here. I'm going to try to stun them. Get a few kills like that. There we go. There's a decoy on the ground. Do decoys count for the disoriented camos? I think they do. Let's try it. Decoys might be better, honestly. Let's open this up. Grab the loose change from Mule Kick. Where's our part? Right over here. We can do a little bit of that. Grab the coin. Who's got the flashlight? Oh, he's holding it again. Put that away. Open this up. Grab this loose change. Don't need Deadshot. We're not on controller today. I wonder if Deadshot helps with like aim assist with melees on controller. I've never tried it. Like if it, if it gives you better tracking with melees, that'd be sweet. Let's grab this double points. Not very many jack-o'-lanterns dropping now. But in the meantime, between rounds here, I'm going to go up and get speed cola. Come here, speed cola. That should help us get our Aether Shroud a lot faster now. We just need one more part from in here. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and try to build our teleporter, or at least repair it. There we go. Got it. Let's get a few Aether Shroud kills here while we got these zombies all piled up. There's our Manic Camo. I think that's, I think we're done. I think we're done with our Aether Shroud kills. I could be wrong though, so I'll probably just keep doing it. Somebody drop a Jack-O-Lantern with a Chalice, please. That would be cool. Or even just, you know, an ammo mod like Shatter Blast. I'll take that. I'm not picky. Oh, please. Oh, it is a Chalice. Let's go. They listened. All right, here's what the Hammer and Sickle look like with Forsaken's first pack of punched here. Looks pretty nice, actually. You see a lot of that secondary color on here, too. All right, hopping through the portal. What's up, boys? Two more. Here you go. Got them all. Ooh, another jack-o'-lantern. What do they got? Cryo freeze. I guess we'll take that for now. Better than nothing. Insta kill. That helps. We got our gunrunner camo. That's four kills rapidly. I'm surrounded. One more kill for Aether Shroud. Maybe another. Oh no, it's insta kill. Never mind. That's unfortunate timing to get insta kill. A little carpenter. Let's go ahead and spawn in the abomination before this round ends. We don't have to deal with the whole horde of them. Spawn in abomination. Can we upgrade these at all? Yeah, let's get them to green. That's about all we can do. Sub abomination. Ooh, hit it right in its mouth. Ooh, that was a fast kill. Get a few more to end it. Pick up the stun. And a max ammo. They're blessing us right now. I swear I have never seen more max ammo than when I'm using a melee weapon. Let's go ahead, start up or lift the lockdown. There's no starting up over here. We'll grab this loose change. Might as well get PhD. And I'm going to switch the ammo mod to Shatter Blast. And we can head over to this crafting table. Actually, we can't. We're, we're all out of crafting materials. We can just wait on the truck again. Now that we got Shatter Blast, this should be nice and easy. I'm going to absolutely demolish all these zombies. Have we even gotten a single Jackrabbit medal yet? I feel like we haven't. We have an extortion camo. That's 50 wall pack a punch. Oh, there's our grunge camo. Very nice. Oh no, a scare package. Is it blowing up? No! I didn't even notice it before. That would have been nice. Could have got a chalice, but no. You know what? Let's try our rampage inducer now. I think we can do it. We also have two aether shrouds ready, just in case. I'm gonna sit here and swing. But if an abomination comes, we might be in trouble. There we go. Shatter blast to start. There's corrosion. That's our first jackrabbit camo and forecast. My favorite weapons to grind in zombies are these melee weapons. You can get them done so much faster than everything else. You need way less kills. You don't need to get crits. It's just perfect. Ooh, a silver chalice. Let's go. Well, I have a second. This is what it looks like with Pack-A-Punch 2. Oh, wait. Maybe I don't have a second. Zombies, please do me a favor and fuck off. This is what it looks like with Pack 2. Nice and red. Whole lot of red. Here's a better look now that I've ended the round. Very nice. That blue and red go together really, really well. And just the duality of the melee weapon right there. Super clean. What's in here? Uh, mimic. Don't want that. Okay. Aether Shroud. Since it's getting a little crowded in here. We'll get a few kills. There's our Growl Camo. We need a few more special or elite kills. We also have stuns too. So why aren't we using those? Why aren't you guys stunned? Oh! 125 kills there. Our degeneration camo while also shatter blast went off. And our cartographer, whatever that means. Oh, we're slaying. I'm throwing a decoy down. Get on the decoy. Entropathy camo. For some reason, I've been having a weird problem where my decoys just bounce off of things. There's our amphibian camo. But whenever I throw my decoy, it'll just bounce off, go to a completely different area from where I threw it, and then it just completely screws up my strat. We'll have to buy some more or a stun. That'll work too. What's in this? Level two armor. We'll take it. What's in this one? A mimic. Perfect. Delivering me an elite kill. We take those. Sunder camo. We're just stacking up the camos at this point. Stunning. How did that not stun anybody? 
Our stun's obsolete. Just wrap the Aether Shroud. Get a few kills here. What's in these? Sugon Ds. Didn't look like anything important. Oh, there's another scare package. I want to check that out. What do you got? Armor and a death machine. This one's a chalice and armor. Yeah, we didn't miss anything. We're taking strictly Aether wrenches and gold chalices from this point on. Oh, there's an abomination. There's our guy. His mouth is glowing, so I'm going to Aether Shroud to him. Take him out before he can attack. Almost. We got him. Let's go. And we leveled up during it. Easy scavenger camo. Are they just throwing shit at me? They can't do that. No. Zombies. Leave me alone. Okay. Throw the decoy down. Get on the decoy. Let's go. Good shatter blast. That just killed the whole round. Easy. Melee weapons are so easy. Another jackrabbit metal. We gotta keep those going if we want our camos. And we'll keep picking up decoys. There's shatter blast. That's what we're looking for. Huge kill there. Bloodshed camo. It's weird seeing bloodshed pop up at 500 kills. So we're only 250 kills away. And we just got our glitch camo. We're so close to being done with all zombies camos. It's kind of sad. I don't know when they're ever going to add another weapon to this game. Because Vanguard's literally out in two days. It'll be so sad. Okay, going to Aether Shroud here. Get them as they're leaving the truck. That was easy. Oh, there's an Aether Wrench. I need that. Oh, what? Why did it pick up Lunge there? I guess they heard me say I need that and sent me towards it. Let's grab it. And grab the legendary armor. There's a few stuns on the ground. We can pick those up. Don't have to buy them. Uh-oh. Shatter Blast. Do your thing, Shatter Blast. Go ahead, Shatter Blast. Or don't. Right in about now. There we go. That's what we like to see. Oh, Conviction Camo. Is that the last one? I think it's our last Jackrabbit medal. Oh, we got two decoys here. That's definitely better than two stuns. Disciple. You dirty dog. Oh, there's way too many. My Aether Shroud. Take them out. Okay, toss them down a decoy. Ooh, Shatter Blast going off. Maybe a little too early. Uh-oh. I got lunged into him. Climb! Throwing another decoy down. Here. Take Disciple. Take a Molly. I just missed both. Get owned. A nice two hit. I think we might need a lot more elite kills. There's no way we already have enough. Ooh, Shatter Blast. Blessing me. Oh, there's an elite. Come here. No, no, no. You come here. Hey! Jump down here. On. Okay, there's a zebra. We might need a few more after that. Zebra is definitely not the last one. At least I don't think so. There's our drench camo. 500 kills while it's packed. And we need 250 more packed kills. And we're extremely close to our rotten camo. We're at 700 kills right now. Oh, max ammo. Let's go. Oh, this is a gold chalice. Let's go. And an aether tool. Easy upgrades. Oh, abomination. Aether shroud. And let's fuck him up. Get him right in his mouth. <laughs> He's a two hit. He's a two hit if you get him in the mouth. I've been hitting all the zombies. All right, there's our rotten camo. And this is what it looks like with Pack-A-Punch 3 here on Forsaken. These camos are so nice. They fit really well with this too. I'm going to buy some more decoys. I feel like we're going to need them. Oh, I should have got Mule Kick just to buy decoys. And just so I can hold on to them. Mule Kick is such a good perk, but only for its upgrade tiers. I could care less about holding three weapons. Can I Aether Shroud, throw down a decoy. Everyone get to it. Boundary camo. I think actually we're done. Unless it goes to 50 or 40. I can never remember how many kills they need to get while they're distracted or disoriented. Go down another. There's our threshold camo. Okay, so we're not done yet. We need one more or 10 more or something like that. We can upgrade this and get it to legendary. And we have a crystal axe as a backup. I'll take that. What's in here? More armor. We'll refill. And another crystal axe, another gold chalice. Might as well get the crystal axe pack three. Let's grab that. And I'm going to go grab mule kick. Where's mule kick at again? At the arcade? Let's go there. Instead of going to the wonder fizz. Oh, actually, while we're there, we might as well just go do a uh, Derizon Drac. So let's grab mule kick. Ha. <laughs> Did I really just get a camo for that? The mule kick trap got me a camo. Let's go. All right. We're coming to Rise and Drac. Or to Rise and Drac. What's up, Mr. Dragon Man? Did they add barrels to this? When did these barrels get here? I can run through them. They are, they are movable objects. Look at this. Wait. Were those supposed to be mimics? Those transformed into zombies then disappeared. What the hell was that? I wonder if any of these kills even count for camos. If not, it's whatever. Not like we have too many to get. And that's it. Goodbye, Mr. Dragon. I'll salute you as you leave. Goodbye, comrade. What do we got? A gold stoner. I'll take the full power even though we're already full up. Oh, there's a perk on the ground. I didn't even see what it was. Oh, well. Oh, there's loose change at these machines. Let's go. Easy. Easy cash. Might as well just train around while we're right here. You know, see the sights. I'm going to train them up, throw a decoy, and see if I can just shatter blast them and finish off all these camos. Looks like we have a whole group here. Get on the decoy, please. Shatter blast, go. Nice. Look at that. Look at them all drop, except for these two. 
Easy. Disciple? No, he flew. Where is I was gonna go get him? No flying away from me here. Yeah. Oh, let's go. That was nice. We got him and then PhD the rest. All right, shatter blast time. Go. Nope, no shatter blast. Right about now. Watch this. I'm predicting the timing. Right about now. And shatter blast. There we go. First try. In a max ammo. Thank God. Now, if this is our last time getting camos, I need to go Tony Hawk at least once. Let's get there. All right, here we go. Tony Hawk. Oh, we did first try. And we got nice distance. Let's do it again. Ooh. We're too clean with it. Three in a row? Who is this guy? And we're getting kills doing it? Tony Hawk only round 100? Uh-oh. As soon as I say something. Eighth the Shroud. There's our chemical camo. So all we need now is... I don't know, actually. What am I missing? I just swore we were done when we got back a punch. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's elite kills, actually. So let's go back to spawn. Could be distracted kills as well. So let's just try to get a few here. Or if it's Aether Shroud, we'll get a few there as well. And we hit a nuke. So that's great. Good thing there's an abomination right here. You can say hello to. Don't try to charge at me. Hey, maybe you did charge at me, but it doesn't mean you're still not going to die. There we go. Rising tiger. All right. This round, I'm going to grab... Nope, I can't. Can't grab any more decoys. So we're stuck with one. I'm going to refill my armor. I'm going to train around, decoy them, shatter blast them. That should cover about everything. Oh, here's an elite. We'll just take out the elites. Oh, wait. I need to save my shatter blast for these zombies. I know I have one loaded up. Just as long as this mangler doesn't screw up the whole thing. Let's get him over here. Throw the decoy. Easy shatter blast. Oh, yeah. A big amount of kills. Now we take out the mangler. We one hit him. What's in the jack-o'-lantern? Nothing we can use. Okay, so we're done with jackrabbits. We're done with kills rapidly, I, I, I think. We're done with normal kills. We're done with pack-a-punch kills. I think we're done with our Aether Shroud kills. I think we're done with our Disoriented kills. It might just be Elites. But just to be sure, in the Aether Shroud again. We still have our decoy, actually. Shout out Mule Kick. Oh, we never grabbed Death Perception. All right, round 26. Still do not have it. We should have it by next round, assuming Elites spawn. I think the last camo we got, Rising Tiger, is pretty close towards the end. And there's just one more camo after it. But again, every time I do melee weapons, I feel like I always forget one challenge that i'm not doing i see a disciple you're mine come here gone there's another disciple sleep and shatter blast let's go perfectly timed all right just to be sure i'm throwing down a decoy shatter blast will take care of that yeah it's got to be elites if we go one more round and we still don't have it i might have to look up our our melee camos this is a running theme in our when we get melee weapons dark aether is me forgetting what I have to do. Okay, there's an abomination. I'm gonna Aether Shroud, take him out. Are you our last elite? There we go, got him killed. No. Mimic, are you our last elite? Not looking like it. Oh, maybe this Mimic is. Oh, there's two of them actually. So let's decoy, all you guys go over there. Just me and the Mimics right now. Okay, there was another like four elites. I didn't see a single camo pop up. I'm Googling it. All right, so get 750 kills. We have that. Get 50 kills with a knife against enemies who are disoriented by stun, grenade, monkey bomb, or decoy. Did we get our banished camo? I don't remember getting that. Maybe we need to do that. We have our chemical camo. We have our mana camo. Oh, Rising Tiger was the last one, so we do have all of our elites. We have our Sunder camo for Topo, which is 10 kills rapidly. We do have our Conviction camo, so yeah, it is decoys. Maybe Shatter Blast is not helping us with that. So I guess I'm gonna throw a decoy right here. Get a few more kills. Another decoy going down oh there's gold viper that's what we needed we literally just needed to google it i can't believe this has happened every single time i guess we'll fight our way to the next x fill but with that we have no more zombies camos to get at all completely done hopefully they add more weapons back to this game so we can come back here and get it because i really do like the camo grind in this game it's a lot of fun but once we get this thing dark matter then we will have every single camo in the game once again and we are we will be completely completed here in cold war if that makes any sense it sounds a little redundant but it's true we'll be completely completed you know what i'm just gonna nade eat it we need to get the x fill we need to get out of here the answer is to just nade there we go two more rounds all right we basically got the whole round of zombies trained up get on the decoy get shatter blasted Easy. Disciple. Get out of here. You know what? Might as well just use this cruise missile. Easy. Disciple, please leave. Oh, nuke. Let's go. The one time I want a nuke. One more round till exfil. I might as well just go camp right outside uh, right outside the exfil radio. Let's go get that done. And I can grab some Gersh's. Watch the PhD. Uh, I wonder how much damage that does. If it's coming from a zip line. Oh, what's up, Tempest? Nice to see ya. Goodbye. Wait. Goodbye. 
I'm going to stand in the glitch spot. I'm going to let all the zombies pile up on their own. I'm going to hit them with an easy shatter blast and end the round. We can just sit here and teabag them while we wait. Take it. Come on, little buddy. Come on up. Gonna watch this shatter blast. <laughs> That's so broken. Absolutely busted. Nobody come near the railing. What did I say? Don't think about it. Don't even do it. Yeah. Oh, there's another Gersh on the ground. I might as well just throw one. Look at this zombie climbing all the way up here just to get hit by a black hole. Idiot. Oh my god, there's still so many. Come on, zombies. I don't got all day. Pile on up. We got one more straggler. Oh, wait. Nope. Two more stragglers. Come on, pal. All right. Shatter blast. Easy. Now let's go exfil. We finished that round in like four swings. It could have been less if those zombies didn't just run up to us. Let's go ahead and hit the exfil and we're out. Okay, so the fastest way to exfil is to hit this portal right here. Go to the zip line, head up, and then hit this teleporter. That's way faster than just running. Oh, wait. Scare package. Any last second goodies? Nothing. It just blows up. That's weak. Throwing out the Gersh. Throwing out another Gersh. Just one beat out the other. Don't care. Aether Shroud. Taking out the Abomination. Easy. Oh, wow. I can't believe there's still 21 hostiles left. Let's just Death Machine the rest of them. And that's all of them. And with that, our final Dark Aether weapon before Vanguard comes out has been completed. It's a very somber moment. Let's check our stats. 1,548 eliminations, 393 crits. Still don't know how you get crits with a melee weapon. But... We did end up with one down. As you can see, we did unlock everything here. And we, we used the, the blueprint to do it. So we don't even have the weapon unlocked, but we have every camo for it. Now let's see what this thing looks like with the mastery camos on it. Here's Gold Viper. Absolutely grotesque. Wow, it looks so different now that the camo actually loaded in. Still pretty gross. Don't like it. Not a fan of Gold Viper. Plague Diamond, pretty cool. Looks very nice with that, that nice purple and pink. And Dark Aether uh, leaves a bit to be desired, but it is only showing the hammer part, not the sickle. So hopefully the sickle has way better coverage than this. So let's go ahead and hop in game, see what it looks like in there. All right, this is what the hammer and sickle look like in game with Dark Aether. This is the blueprint. So I don't think much is going to change between this and the default one, but it looks really nice. The sickle definitely has more coverage. So I'm really happy about that because the hammer, there's not too much to be seen there, but putting them together like that. Ooh, that's so clean. Let's try to get another inspect here while it has that really nice light pink, light purple. Oh, I think it went away. But still a really nice looking weapon and a nice little finale here to Cold War. <laughs> and it's it's funny they ended up on another melee weapon. This is like our 18th melee weapon. All right, now I think we got a lot of that nice light pink and purple. There we go. That's looking real nice. Ooh, inspect it now, please. I can see it. I can see how light pink and purple it is. Show me now. Let's go. All right, well, that is our final zombies camo video here in Cold War, unless they add some new weapons. But we have everything done in zombies on our main account, at least camo wise every single weapon is now dark aether so hopefully they still update this game and they add some more weapons in the future because the camo grind in this game has just been so much fun I i've enjoyed the hell out of it and just the support and all you know the all of you guys coming out watching these videos it, it means a lot to me so kind of somber moment here we're closing the door close ending the chapter on cold war but man it, it, it's been fun uh, this game has gotten a lot of hate and i i feel like it's unjust because this is probably the most fun i've had grinding camos in a single game but with that i'm gonna have to end the video here so if you guys like this and you want to see more if they add some more weapons go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please hit subscribe and put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week and that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later